Hi, I've come up with a new idea for the right hand positioning. Up to now with my video lessons and my music, um, I put down two, up one, up two, that kind of thing when I wanted you to move your right hand position. Um, I'm still going to do that, but I, I've sort of come up with a kind of standard which I think might really help. But basically, what I'm going to say is that when your first finger is on the root note of that row, so for instance, this is the G row, I'm a fourth button start, so this is the note G on the push. So if my finger one is on that button, finger two is on the button below, button five, finger three on button six, finger four on button seven, I'm calling that the home position or position home. I haven't decided what I'll call it. POS H or PH or something, but anyway, that is what I'm calling the home position. So, obviously, if you've got a third button start, that I mean your fingers are on buttons three, four, five, and six. So, a tune like Twinkle Twinkle Little Star is all in the home position. So, that is position H, and on the D row. That is position H on this particular melodeon. Buttons four, five, and six. Fingers one, two, three, four. And if you've got a third button start, it's buttons three, four, five, six. So what am I going to call the other positions? Well, if you come up one from the home position, so for me, I'm on buttons three, four, five, and six. I'm calling that position minus one. Okay, pause minus one, if you like. So there's minus one, there's home. So obviously this one will be plus one, plus two, plus three, and the same on the pull as well. Um, so if I go back to the home position on the D row, position home, this is going to be position minus one, pause minus one. Uh, this will be the home position. This is the plus one position, plus two, plus three. So let's give this some kind of practical uh, demonstration. The tune Trialy Jail starts now in what I call position minus one. So all of that is in minus one position. So and um, So that takes care of that F sharp there on the G row. You see? So that works really, really well. The two rows are not laid out straight across, they are diagonal. And I've been messing about with a few tunes this morning and it works really well. Now, when it goes to bar seven, you've got you've got this bit and it changes from the minus one position to the home position. So that is in the home position, and you see you end on the E there. Uh, finger one on button four, and of course it's on the pull to give you the E. Now the B part starts in the plus two position. So there's there's the home position. So go down two from the home position. There's your plus two position, which is buttons six, seven, eight, and it would be nine. We don't use nine, but I figure it's more comfortable to use fingers one and three here. So this is B part of Charlie Jail, position plus two. And then we go back to the home position for bar 15. And then we go into the C part, we stay in the home position. C finger one, button four. And then we go to the plus one position for this. See there, a finger one would fall on a button five. And for the final couple of bars, we go back to the home position. So in Charlie Jail we have some of it, the first part in position minus one, and then we go to the home position, then we go to plus two, then we go back to home, plus one, and back to home. So it might be a really good way of just 
you know, quickly knowing where we are uh, on our fingerboard uh, when we're thinking about the right hand. I'm fairly excited about this because I think this is going to simplify things and help us find where we are quickly and feel where we are quickly. Uh, if you have any questions about this, do get in touch. Uh, but I, I hope you're going to find this useful and I'll be uh, marking up all my future tunes like this. By the way, um, the way I came up with this, well, first of all, I thought uh, oh, I'll call um, this position one, you know, finger one on button one, finger two on button two, but that rapidly uh, didn't work out, obviously because not everyone's got accidentals up here and obviously the arrangement of this end of the melodeon is very different for lots of different melodeons where you've got an Anahata layout, third button start, fourth button start. So I changed my mind fairly quickly and my method will work whether you've got a third button start or a fourth button start. Uh, so uh, yeah, like I say, pretty excited about it and uh, going to be implementing this in the future.